Oh, goody. All right, what's up, everybody? It is Zombies here again. And today we have a super cool humans build. So this was actually inspired by RYN underscore HS over on Twitter. They actually took this build to 12K rating um, from 10K. So really solid climb there. Congrats to them. Um, that build is different than the one we're playing here. Uh, I'm talking about a build that basically made me kind of want to experiment with humans. Um, their build was Lich King, Varian, Cariel, Anduin, Rogers, Tyrion. It looks really cool, and I want to try it out too, but it made me want to do a little bit of experimenting of my own with, uh, with humans here, and this is kind of the list I ended up on. So this is kind of the comp you want to play if you're running into a bunch of Valyra Grom Thrall. That's kind of what I tried to design this as a counter against. And so far it seems to do all right. So basically for your equipment, we are using War Banner. Um, there could be some argument to uh, the additional attack here, but... Warbender has been really, really great for getting off that retaliation, getting big damage to wound their Valyra, kill their Thrall. The healing and protection from Cornelius is just really, really great. Part of the nice thing about this comp is they don't really, uh, they have a hard time getting good value with their Thrall early on, and Cornelius is a big part of that, keeping our units healthy as they scale up. And Tyrion, we are running the Ashbringer on Tyrion, so we... Do try and get him killed off, but not as early as some other comps because we do have healing with Cornelius. And the healing with Cornelius, as well as the buffs from Tyrion, gets pretty nuts when you also swap in something like Anduin, who then gains a bunch of uh, healing and scaling off of restoring that health through Cornelius and his own abilities. Or even the Lich King, who we also have here as a backbench unit, because he is actually human, believe it or not, even though he is undead here. But uh, his, his tag is to human, so he's a human. And then to cap it all off, we have Sky Admirable Rogers. Rogers has super exceeded expectations. Um, she's just been a great unit. You can actually see here I haven't finished maxing my Rogers. I still have one more skill to level up here, and I have to finish her items. So even with a not max Rogers, she was still really good in this comp. So... That is kind of the overview, what the comp does, and I have some games from the other night um, during my stream when I was playing this, so we're going to be playing those. If you don't know, I do stream on Twitch, usually it's in the evenings, later evenings, uh, Eastern Standard Time, um, so head on over there if you like hanging out in Twitch. And we're going to get into some games here if you enjoy this type of content. Do remember to like and subscribe. Really does do a ton to help out the channel. And let's get into the games. I'm determined to make the humans work. We might have to alter it a bit, but... The kind of cool thing about this humans comp is you could do some like weird leads. Like We're not locked into our starting three like you are with some other comps. Like, the original comp I was looking at had the triple uh, fighter lead. But I want to try it with this lead a bit more. Oh shit, it's a variant. All right, so definitely retaliation. Might just be the move to not attack with this this turn. I'm not necessarily like afraid of Tyrion taking a ton of damage because it dying isn't really a bad thing. But the, the damage it gets off here is so negligible compared to the damage they could do. So I'm going to make the, the bold uh, not attack play with Tyrion. Alright, so they win the flip there. 
The nice thing about that is we aren't really attacking, so we played around them by not attacking with the Tyrion. That was good. We can shrink the, uh, shrink the Varian. Speed up our humans. Get more healing. Yeah, we'll try that. Gonna go down the uh, the Daft Punk rabbit hole in a minute here. Haven't listened to them in a while. I like how the the Cornelius uh, the comp is uh, it's confusing them. No one expects humans, right? The idea is to punish these double red openers, so I think we're getting away with it. Wow, Valyra re revealing itself. I think that was like a net positive, generally. All right. How many retaliation procs have to occur for it to outscale just using the first equipment? That's a great question. I'm not sure. So we get that plus nine. I really haven't played with the Varian too much. I played like a game or two with him like a month ago when Valir was first starting to get like kind of pretty popular. So I'm still, uh, I'm still getting accustomed to him. I think Varian can do quite a bit here though. So just a weird matchup. I think we retaliation because expect his Valir to swing in, and they're actually slower. Even those are faster, they could slow this, but we'll see. Boom. Okay. So they slowed the, yeah, they slowed the variant. That makes sense. It's a good play. Try and bonk this in there. Healing. I wonder if this applies to your bench humans or not, or if it just it's like a. Uh, let's see, is it an aura buff? Yeah. It is, so it probably doesn't apply to your other bench humans. Thirteen. Job done. The slows. Interesting. So the kind of cool thing about this is we have some we have some zero speeds now. It's kind of funny. This corn is really annoying for them though. <laughs> like they're really not like progressing through our board very easily. The speed buff's actually kinda kinda sweet. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be cool if humans actually kind of worked. I really wanted humans to work. They were actually humans and fire. 
were my two, uh, those were like the two comps I really tried to make work on release. Ooh, look at that. This is a huge variant. I'm really glad we picked the right variant skin. We got like Rambo variant. The other ones are alright, but this one's fucking sweet. What do we bring in? So, Shadow Backline, perhaps? That's a little concerning. We could Big Anduin. Kind of like Big Anduin. By the light. Good. Oh, it's a cookie. Okay. I should have, yeah, I should have known that from the appetizers. Always got to check that. All right, so this is still zero. Going for the AoE. We can just start like killing things. Or like getting things in like two hit range. Swing into the cookie. We go for the healing to buff the end of it. It's also a thought to uh to try and protect this damage wise, but I think it's fine doing it as is. Oh wow, they fished me? Okay. Was not expecting that. I don't think that uh that went as well as they thought it was gonna go. Seem to work pretty fine for us, though. Yeah, humans. Let's go, humans. <laughs> oh, it's a Diablo. Oh, we are eating this Diablo. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. Job done. Yes, I am definitely competing. I, I signed up. I'm really excited. Super pumped. Do that. All right, heals. No, you're kidding. Oh, that's bad. That's not what I wanted to see. I mean, I still think we're not in a bad spot that we have this huge, huge uh, Diablo here, that, or a huge Lich King here. We're going to ram into their Diablo. Hey, you're playing too nice. Oh, did my chat box disappear? Let's see. So, what is their last unit? Rogers. Okay. Job done. I should probably just kill the Diablo.
Yeah, look at that. Diablo is down to six. That Rogers hit hurts, but. You go for the snipe there. I might as well just swing. So we should actually, we should do frost shield here because if they go for speeding up their Diablo with uh, it going next, um, that could be annoying for the AoE. So give ourselves a better chance of winning that flip. Nice. G G, let's fucking go, human comp. First win. Flame Waker was a standard legal card. When did that come out? Flame Waker. Oh, Black Rock Mountain. So that was that was early. Flame Waker was early. That's right. How could I forget? It was one of the most impactful cards from that set. Black Rock only. Black Rock had Emperor though. Emperor was the nuts. All right, cool. I want to see more of this because I want to see how this does against it. Always this first. We do this to stack our twos. Um. I think we damage the thrall. It's gonna get bigger though, but I don't think I'm that scared of the Tyrion dying because the buff from the Tyrion is really nice. We'll try it. So we won both the flips there. So their Valyria gets smacked. Their Thrall is getting smacked. That's pretty nuts. Now he's sending Rogers to clean up. I like it. Firing position. Heal. Make this small. Actually, doesn't really matter. I'd rather get the damage into the Brucon. Okay. So we're just going for the kill on the corn. It's not bad. Pretty good for us, though, I think. Um, probably Malfurion in for the healing, so we probably want our Anduin in. Because they don't have a green to deal with it. All right, what are we doing? So. Healing. Done. 
Let's try that. Oh, uh, there's the chain lightning, but that's not like that bad. Job done. We can snipe down this, uh, Sprig Con. So we should be able to get there from here. <laughs> GG. Let's go. Let's go, humans. Unreal. It's actually really good. But it was only because Diablo was the whole meta of, like, initial Diablo, Samuro, and Shadow. Right? Because um, Gruul was useful, but then once Shadow became more popular, it was just too easy to deal with Gruul. No dragons made him strong, so it was like... I'm a girl believer, though. Not be I believe he'll be back. Yes. So order and uh, equipment are specified. Um, so all that information is is nice and available, um, which is great because those are really important things for mercenaries. All right. This is what we want to see. Let's see if we can beat it. Yeah, I'm really excited for it. I'm I'm really excited that they're uh, that they're hosting or that they're sponsoring this tournament and that uh, Mull who gets to host it. It's like super hype, super duper hype. Ooh, we're smacking them. Well, here with the Phantom Knives, it's pretty heads up to like dodge kind of. They have a full blue back. So maybe shadow. They, no, it could be full shadow. There's no cookie here. Maybe healing time with Anduin. I think it's either Anduin or Rogers here. Hey, what's up, Garrison? How are you doing? You're trying some humans tonight. Slow on the Anduin. Oh. Bold move. I'm going to take a wild guess and say... There was a there was a little bit of a miscalculation there. Not gonna complain about it though, cause <laughs> it certainly isn't a bad thing for us. We have a very large dude to swing in with. This comp is fun. It's great trying all the weird stuff in this mode. That's why I really wish uh, they would give people like some kind of weird weekly rotation, rental team, whatever, right? Like, let people try out weird stuff without like... If I didn't have a collection and I had to grind out like some random fringe stuff, like... I mean, I still have to grind out Rogers. I'm not done. And I've put more time into this game mode than like, I'm sure like a ton of people because I'm doing all the content stuff for it. It's really fun, so... If you, uh, if you didn't see, um, the original idea came from here. 
I will link the post. Oh, you finished maxing? Congrats. I wish I was there. So that Twitter post is where I got the original idea for humans, but I tweaked it a little bit. Um, my build's a little bit different. They were actually using Cariel, which is sweet, but I feel like uh, Cornelius is a little better suited for what we're doing here. And I also thought a Tyrion lead was really good. And so far, I think it has... The, stat, the stats from Tyrion have been really nice. So you got Shadow here. Do we retaliate? Obviously it wouldn't hit either of those. It's just... They go... For that... What are their speeds? So their fastest is... They got that one... Maybe speed up the humans. No, that's way too... That's leaving way too much damage on the table. Lyra will die on her own running into stuff. Let's kill the Vol'jin. Or attempt to get it down. Valyria will die to herself and residual damage. She can't even swing into this freaking... Look at the size of this Cornelius. 32 attack. And 51 Varian, like... It's about to smack people. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, this is like easy now. Rogers just cleans up. Job done. So I do not think Varian. I'm pretty sure the Varian speed buff is only humans on the field, sadly, because it's an aura. Um, so see how we have the. Actually, it might. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I'm pretty sure I I tried it the other game and it was only ones on the field. I'll have to double check to be positive, but. All right, so they snipe down Varian, snipe down Anduin. But, 2v1. So we should be all good here. Let me get a nice slow too. The Tyrion buff has been huge in uh in these games. The Tyrion buff, plus eight, plus eight, has been absolutely huge. Okay. Yeah. That's gonna be GG. Let's go humans. We out here. Join me in the dark. I really want a freaking a skin for Sky Emerald. She's one of like two characters who I don't have a skin for, and it really bugs me. Alright, triple protector. Probably what we want to see. I mean, I definitely need to practice the lines some more, but so far I'm kind of liking this. Kinda liking this. Looks like they have the nature back. So it is the most traditional version. Look at that. Boom. Boom. And your thrall is dead. Only downside, they do get a uh, 
cookie snipe here. We are low enough, but we did our we did our job. Let's see, so what are we doing here? Shrink this in case it tries to swing in. Heal. Yep, so that's zero speed. They go for the slow, Valera in. Yep, good play on their part. See how this goes. Job done. Bugs me so much I don't have a portrait for uh Rogers. She has a really cool one too in this whole like fancy captain's getup that I really like. But I'd settle for any of them. I just want it to match with our fancy Anduin here. Cosmetics in this game are really fucking pretty, though. I think that's one thing even the people who, who don't uh, like mercenaries a ton as a game can agree on, is that the the uh, they look it still looks pretty pretty nice. I guess we should have swung there. I don't regret my decision though. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm willing to try other variations without all humans. I'm probably going to run a few more human games, and then I'm going to experiment with the comp, because I think there's something here. Okay, so we can actually stack twos now, which is kind of nice. Could get a snipe down on this before it could act. However, it's not necessarily the most beneficial to kill this right away. We're not really that scared of the Thrall. We don't want the Malfearing coming in. Get him all that healing. I think we're going to ignore it. That's something I need to get in a better habit of doing. Sometimes it's just so much better to leave one of these guys alive. They'll, pro they'll probably even trade it in. Um, but... I think it's still worth doing. Yeah, let's try that. We have the slam, okay. Extra health is annoying. Yeah, I don't like this spot I'm in now. Ooh, Illidan, Savannas, or Blink Fox. Those are some neat ideas. Let's think about this. Yeah, screw it. Just go big o AoEs and some slow. Alright, so they get the chain lightning off. We're actually kind of maybe okay. I really wanted that cookie dead before Mouth came out, and we got that, so. Maybe we get there. 
I need to think about these plays. Um, they have nature damage, so we're a hundred percent doing this for damage. Ooh, ooh, this could be, yeah, holy word salvation time. Nobody expects the holy word salvation. We could even heal the Rogers. 30 health. Oh, it would, it would boost the Anduin too. And if it... Yeah, hmm. Really might not be a bad idea. No, we're gonna try and punch in. And just punch in. Actually, we should heal. We should heal our Anduin. I think instead of punching in. Because we, that's... We need to make sure that stays alive. People always forget about the Anduin ability. Look at that damage on the mouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're like... We should be set from here. They can s snipe this down. But that's okay. All right, so they snipe down Rogers. Yep. Boom, Malfurion down. They're gonna get a big, uh, big damage here, but I think we still get there. Right. Job done. The scaling's really like it's a lot, but it's like we're also healing a lot each time. Job done. Boom. Yeah, so we we win this. We win this race. Wow. That that came down to the wire. That was, that was actually a really close game. But the Anduin healing just is too good when you don't have the, the mouth to keep healing up the Brucon. Look at that though, almost 30 damage bolt. It's crazy. Well GG. Almost 10k.